Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. A fun and exciting pediatric dental office for infants, children, and teenagers, See Smiles Pediatric Dentistry, a WHHI TV news partner, focuses on preventive care to help children have a healthy smile that will last a lifetime. Joining us now, Dr. Shane Harfum to share how his practice cares for children's oral hygiene. Shane, welcome. Welcome, thank you for having me. Absolutely, welcome back. So when should a child really start seeing a pediatric dentist? Yeah, the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry recommends a child see a pediatric dentist by the age of one or their first tooth eruption. Wow, okay, yeah. so that's early on it's in there. pretty early, <laughs> Yeah, yes, that's pretty is. early. <laughs> so, so with um, that being said, what would you normally find in a child that's one or what would you, I guess, yeah. notice and things that well, would be important? What it is is, you know, children, there's a long history of kids being scared going to the dentist. Um, we want to get them in early, talk to mom about diet, oral, oral hygiene, um, sippy cups, uh, finger habits if they suck their thumb, anything okay. like this, and we can try to prevent any problems. I would get them comfortable with the dentist. It's a fun and it's an exciting experience. We just want to get them in, talk with mom, and prevent cavities is the biggest thing. What about your educational background? My educational background, I uh, went to school in Tennessee for undergrad. I did go to West Virginia University for dental school, and I was chief resident at Children's Hospital of Michigan, where we spent two additional years after dental school. And so choosing a pediatric dentist over a dentist, what's the importance of that? Well, we're trained just in child infants, children, teenagers, and special needs patients. So we spend an additional two, sometimes three years after dental school uh, working with the children. And we only see kids. So it's, the whole environment is really geared to just fun, exciting, interactive. And uh, it's just we try to make it the most fun experience for the children. And um, what things do you discuss and what should parents expect when they bring their children who are younger? When they bring their kids that are younger, we, as soon as they walk in the door, we want them to have uh, a different type of experience where it's all geared towards kids, where it's fun, it's inviting, again, interactive. And when they come, we want them to have, uh, have the ability to ask us questions. Any question they have on, on oral hygiene, what, when, when did to teeth erupt, uh, juice, toothpaste, fluoride, and really we want to just have a platform where we can really get to know the parents, the patients, and uh, answer any questions they may have. And so um, how would you treat children who have significant amounts of DK? Well, that's part of the whole process when they walk in. When a young child, and we see children that are three and under with a lot of decay, so you might say, why bring a child in when they're one years old? Again, preventing the cavities. It's very difficult to treat a child who has a lot of decay who might be three years old. Uh, some of the things that we do, though, is creating that environment as soon as they walk in, a right. friendly, home-type environment. We have televisions on the ceiling. We have, like, we have a big Olaf stuffed <laughs> uh, Olaf in the corner. We've got surfboard growth charts. We've got bells the kids can ring. And, and that initial experience really helps with their anxiety. Uh, and if they have decay and they need to be treated, we have laughing gas. Again, TV's on the ceiling. We have a lot of different uh, tell, show, do. We show the kids everything. So we, we use code words, okay? So if it's, um, if it's like the suction, we may call it Mr. Thirsty or something like this. But we show the kids everything we do. We have the laughing gas. It smells like bubble gum or cherries. We even have uh, some of the uh, toothpaste we clean with. Mm -hmm. We even have some that is chocolate and birthday cake flavored. So we try might, to really. I might show up there one day. <laughs> yeah, we really try to make it as fun as possible. But really? those are the types of things right. um, that we do and we disguise Makes kids it. kids comfortable. And then if it becomes more significant, we do have oral, sed we have sed different sedation routes we right. can do um, to treat kids with. Uh, you know, where it is challenging for three-year-olds. And that's where we're also trained um, in, our, in our residencies and pediatrics is, is also, you know, with the sedation of children and, and how to manage behavior that way as well. And quickly, you have a new office besides your Bluffton yes. location. So quickly, I'll let you tell, tell us a little bit about yeah. that. That's exciting. We are thrilled to announce that we're, uh, we're finally able to uh, help treat some of the children in Beaufort, South Carolina. We're at uh, the Office of Coastal Orthodontics. Mm -hmm. Beautiful orthodontic practice. We're there a handful of days a month mm -hmm. uh, when they're not open. But it's a really good team. They're just a wonderful staff. Uh, so we are also in Beaufort. We're in network with all the military, TRICARE, nice. United Concordia, MetLife. 
So the insurance is there. We are preferred providers with them. And we just really wanted to get there and help help the children in the town as well. Right. But we're also new in Bluffton, so yes. we're, we're continually getting busy in Bluffton. We love Bluffton. It's been wonderful. The community has been great and really welcomed us in, so we feel very blessed. Jane, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to you next month. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.